Hey everyone, so I just wanted to make a quick video for you. I've got my auto siphon here going, if you can see. And I'm taking out that Caribbean uh, tropical wine that I made. And you can see the sediment that's here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and start racking it over into a new carboy. So just always remember that your carboys have to be nice and disinfected and clean and all the instruments you're using are clean. And yeah, we're just gonna transfer her over. I'll put a new clean airlock on top. And yeah, that's, that's about it. And another thing is I want to uh, tell you guys is it's really important to rack over your wines because that sediment at the bottom can actually change the flavor of your wines. So that's why people like to rack them over not only to clarify, but because the sediment can change the flavor in the wine. So we're getting a little bit further down here and she's filling up very nice. And while we're doing that, I'm actually going to go ahead and take a glass and savor the flavor. Okay friends, so this was the original carboy. Uh, you can see it's quite cloudy. I did accidentally stir up some of that sediment at the bottom, um, but there's still pretty thick layer in there. Um, so you can see now over here, uh, this is cloudy again, because I, if I wouldn't have, you know, stirred up the sediment on an accident, this probably would have been a little bit more clear. Um, but that's okay. The sediment's going to fall again. This is going to keep clarifying. Um, the only thing is I want to tell you about. So when you get to this gap, you're like, well, what the hell do I do now, right? Because you obviously can't put all that cloudy mess in there. So what you can do is actually go out and get yourself one of these juices, like a, as natural juice as possible that you can find. This one's a mango juice. And we can actually just kind of fill it up here a little bit more. It's not going to ruin the wine. And, it, and I mean, it's going to add more flavor to it. Um, so you can be more picky with your wines, uh, like as far as what, what type of juice you would like to put in there. And I guess it's kind of better than watering it down, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some of that mango juice in here. Okay, so you can see... I put some of that mango juice in here and that's it. So we will put a lovely airlock back on this. Um, we'll clean out our other carboy here. Yes, we'll, we'll, we will clean that out and then we will just let this keep clarifying again. And then when sediment falls back down, we'll just rack it over one more time if we need to. So that is it, everybody. I just wanted to show you that quick little process here. Goodbye, sediment. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Also, we forgot to do a wine tasting. So, cheers to you. Look how pretty and clear that is. I can't wait to taste this and describe the flavor to you guys. Hmm. It's a very light wine. I want to say, I want to say it's kind of like a medium, medium dry, which is nice. Um, it's not like too sweet. It's a very palatable wine. When you drink it, your mouth just instantly starts to water. Um, so it's got that little bit of a bitterness to it. So I would say that the acidity in this is very nice because it just makes your mouth fill up with so much. Um, saliva <laughs> uh, just because that's a good thing um, you want your wines to be like that because when they are uh, that means the acidity is very good and it's going to last in your wines just a little bit longer um, when you do drink it you do get the hints of the strawberry and mango uh, but when you smell it you have that aroma of coconut behind it so it has definitely started to change um i can't wait to see 
now what the flavor is going to be uh, because I did add a little bit of mango juice in it um, just to fill up the carboy a little bit. Um, if you have this and you have done this recipe and you're racking over and you want to use uh, juice and you want to bring out another one of those flavors like if you feel like oh man you know that lost the coconut savor that I was looking for or something like that. Um, I'm sure that, you know, maybe you can find a tropical juice blend, you know, at the grocery store and you could just use that to supplement and I'm sure it would bring out more different aromas and different flavors uh, to your wines. Um, I mean, to me, I think it's better to add a little bit of fruit juice than it is to top it off with water. I don't want to dilute it, right? Um, but some people do. Uh, you, But I think... Uh, Putting in pure fruit juice, you know, it has sugar in it, sugar contents. Uh, that's another thing that you have to look out for is when you're putting in um, some fruit juices, make sure they don't have uh, certain chemicals in there that would inhibit um, your wines or ruin your wines because there are certain chemicals, you know, that do do that. Uh, but yeah, so it was good. I enjoyed it. I am. I actually want to just keep sipping on it. Mm. You can have that tiny hint of coconut in the background right now, um, but it is just such a good wine. This is like a good sipping wine. I'm actually enjoying this very much. I don't have any type of like regret, <laughs> I guess you would call. There's no regret. She's delicious. So I can't wait to bottle this one up. Um, and I can share it with some friends and see what they like or think about it. But yeah, I hope that you guys will try this recipe with me and that you really enjoyed it. You're awesome. Everybody's awesome. And I love being here and hanging out with you. And yeah, so today's just one of those days where it was time to do a taste test. Let's have fun. Let's drink. Cheers.